Okay, so this really happened. I had to go get gas because I got to pick up my daughter from school. And a spider problem here in Kansas every summer is just atrocious. It's awful. There are spiders everywhere, even in your car. Now, last night I was driving home. Let me give you an overview of what happened last night. Last night I'm driving home down Main Street. Anybody that lives here know Main Street is full of construction. There are cones everywhere. Spider goes across my windshield. I see it. I know it's on the inside. So I see a notebook in my car. In fact, I'm going to start keeping a magazine up front with me so when I see one, I can smash it. Because with spiders, you get one shot. You miss it, you just set it free somewhere in your car. You have no idea where it's at. you got to unload, do a Chinese fire drill, try to save lives. That's just how spiders and cars work. I made it down Main Street, squished that sucker. One swat, it was dead. I'm good. And I did not hit any of those cones. I know that Geico will thank me later. I drove my car down all that construction, didn't hit any cones, didn't hit any pedestrians. Everything was good. So today I'm pumping gas. It's a good thing that the spider did not climb on me while I was pumping gas because had I had a match, I would have had a flamethrower at my disposal. That didn't happen, thank goodness. I got in the car. I put my seatbelt on. I look this way. I see a spider on my shoulder. One of those fuzzy jumping things. Oh, ooh, no. They're a little, but any spider is too much of a spider. I don't care how small it is. So I fling it off. I get out. Thank goodness I dress in layers because my clothes started coming off. I had this, my little t-shirt on. We were good. So I'm at the gas station ripping my sweater off. Traffic's going by. I know they're wondering what's going on. Hopefully they're like, oh look, chick's got a spider in the car. I hope it was obvious, but maybe it wasn't. Anyway, I have to bend over. I'm in my car looking for the spider. I find it. It's in the console, down where my glasses are, my change, and that kind of stuff. I peel away what I can without it jumping on me, and then I'm out of options. The magazine, the, my notebook is too big to get down there. It's dodging me. All I'm doing is making it angry. So, I remember, in my purse, I always carry hand sanitizer. You could sanitize even a spider, and I did. If anything, they've got multiple eyes. Sanitizer is going to blind it. All of their eyes. What, they got four or six? They got eight legs, so maybe it's just four or six eyes. I don't know, they're creepy, it's nasty. But you can blind a spider. So now, it can't see me. I can see it, but it can't see me. So I'm gonna go in for the kill. And I take the lid off the sanitizer, and I drown the sucker. So now he's blind and he's drunk. I think I won because he's stuck there. He's not doing anything. I have to wait until he sobers up and I'll figure out how the story ends. So that's what happened to me this afternoon. Two tips. Get a magazine and carry it in your car because you can roll it up and smuck those suckers. Second thing, carry hand sanitizer because you can blind them and you can get them drunk. And then they don't bother you. They just sit there. They don't move. Don't do nothing. I think you win. All right. You guys have a good Friday.